Today's hot topic. It's hot outside. Is that hot topic? <laughs> it's hotter than a hoochie coochie outside. Today's hot topic is numbing cream. <laughs> I didn't do it like John. John, John usually does the. Uh, today's hot topic cream. is what? Numbing cream? Do you like numbing cream? Absolutely hate it. Like on yourself? Uh, I have used it on myself on my knee. And will you you remember because you did this tattoo. Yeah, uh, I did it blindfolded. That's why it hurt a lot because you yeah. didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> I was going too deep. Uh, yeah, you. I've used it before only once. And I liked it, but I don't think I got the full effect of it. Maybe just because the area was so it was super sensitive. So cool, <laughs> cool, bro. And that's the podcast, guys. <laughs> I've never used it. I don't think I'd ever use it. No. Mm, I think it's cool, and I've seen people that use it, and it works really good. But then I've heard stories of where it doesn't heal properly. Yeah, but, stories, stories, you know. But I think numbing cream also. I mean, yes, it could it could numb you, but also I think it's a mind thing, because sometimes I'll be tattooing somebody, and they're like in pain, and I'll just be like, oh, let me put some numbing cream in. All I do is put Vaseline. So, <laughs> <laughs> and then like they're like, actually, yeah, it feels a little bit better. I don't really feel it as much. And then I'll just keep tattooing them, keep applying the Vaseline. No way, you really like them? Yeah, I've done that before. And then for real, for real, yeah, I swear. Like and you're not joking. I promise. Both hands up. Not your toes either. Uh, okay. <laughs> my tongue. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know you'd done that before. Yeah, and then um, I'll just pretend like it's numbing cream, and all of a sudden it doesn't hurt as much, and they like more still. So I think it's uh, it's some um, it's a mindset. I mean, I I agree. It's a mindset. Sometimes I do put um, like when we spray it and we wrap it. Like if you take a break with um, Bactine. Mm-hmm. And I always tell them, hey, how's it feel? Oh, it feels better. Like, I don't feel it. Which, there is lidocaine in there, I guess. I was going to say, you know that no. does have numbing. No, no, no. <laughs> there, there is lidocaine in there, but it's not like, it's not, it's not numbing cream. What percentage? 5%. No, it's 4. It's 4? Oh, it's close enough. 5%, 4%, 6%. What a rookie. Same thing. Same oh, thing. it's not the same thing. Same thing. But, I mean, it's not a lot. But they, they usually be like, oh, yeah, it feels better. Well, it does feel better. It has lidocaine. It does. Well, but that's it, different from Vaseline. <laughs> it does, but it's not like... It has 4% lidocaine, <laughs> and when you do the outline, and then you spray it and then wrap it, it soaks in. It, so it did that, that really does work. Uh, I don't know what to do with you sometimes. Sorry. Man, it's a little hot in here today, right? It could be that it's 106 outside. It's 165. Ooh. Yeah, but some people say that... Um, Was there a little... I sneezed on it before I gave it to you. It was probably a gnat. Came off your hair. What's more red, my beard or my Red Bull can? Your beard for sure. I actually had a client yesterday who thought your beard was fake. How often do you get that that your beard is fake? Everybody always thinks I color my beard. Or not fake, yeah, but colored it. Everybody thinks I dye it. Everybody thinks I straighten it. I just realized this. Maybe it's my glasses. Your glasses actually match your beard. My glasses? Yeah. They look like a like look, like the this the, the no the actual lens. Oh, what color are they? It looks the same are they as like your a beard. Like a brownish color. I don't know if you can see it if you can catch it in the camera, but you want me to do my blue still look? Yeah, I think it looks like it. Dang, I was just about to tell you something about uh, was it dummy cream? Stop looking at it. Just drink it. I just want to make sure there was no little fly on here or anything. A bee sting's. Good. Did I tell? You, <laughs> I tell you, I swallowed a gnat the other day. Oh. No. I didn't tell you that? No. I did it? No. I was, did it uh, have numbing cream on it? Yeah. So I didn't feel it. Like... <laughs> I was, uh, I went to go use the restroom. I was done tattooing and I went to go use the restroom. And I didn't tell you this. Wait, you were done tattooing well, maybe... and you went to use the restroom? Yeah, yeah. I was Is done... that when you were stuck in there? No, that's another story. <laughs> I was stuck in there yesterday. Uh, For like, what, five minutes you said? Oh, it was, I mean, it. yeah, about five. <laughs> maybe a little longer. That's another story. But uh, I, I was using the restroom, and uh, I was using the, the urinal stall, right? So I was standing up, mm-hmm. and uh, there was a gnat I flying. You, I thought you said... I, you, wait, I told you this, right? No, no, no. But I thought you said when you when you go pee, you sit in the toilet stall. No, I do a handstand. <laughs> so I was, uh, I was I was using the restroom, right? Uh-huh. And I, I felt a gnat right here, so I kept going. 
I was like this, right? Dude. And I, I, I was like this. And I, it's like if I... Your mouth, your mouth was open now? Because I noticed no, it's that... It's because I told the gnat something. That's why. I was telling the gnat something. <laughs> I don't say anything about mouth being open, goddamn. Dude. All right? Okay, real don't quick. Don't tell me that. Don't tell the, me that. The other day when we made our YouTube video and I was trying to do a thumbnail. And, and I was trying to do a picture of... of but you couldn't photo. because my mouth was open. And every image that I was going to, your that mouth was open. <laughs> I'm like, dude, does he not... I, I, I swear in my head, I'm like... Is his mouth open the whole podcast? Because <laughs> every picture. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, there was. Okay, let's do a screenshot real quick. Uh, <laughs> dude, so hold on. Listen, I had my mouth open because I was actually telling the gnats something. I was like, get away. Right? Uh-huh. And the freaking gnat flew in my <laughs> mouth. And I was like, trying to spit it out. Dude, I sw- no, I swear. I swear on my, on my kids. So I, it went in my was mouth. Is it alive still, like flying? It flew in my mouth. And I felt it on my teeth, <laughs> and I couldn't get it out. Right, so I went to the uh, to the sink, and I can still feel it. And I wash my hands, and I put my like finger on my where I thought I felt it. You didn't put water in your mouth. Yeah, I did after. Huh. I thought it was right there. I was like, try to take it out, <laughs> dude. I swallowed it. <laughs> I I googled it, and it said it's protein, so <laughs> gains, baby, gains. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was. I weird. could just picture dude, you. In I was. Show. And it just jumped in my mouth. Dude. It was fucking... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to cuss, but... It was crazy. And then yesterday, let me tell you, I went to the restroom. And... Uh, you got stuck. <laughs> I got stuck in the restroom, and it wasn't my fault. There was, tell the story. There was... Um, there was somebody that came in in an electric wheelchair. Mm-hmm. And... The restrooms Which, are... This restroom is not handicapped. It's the world's smallest restroom, just so you know. Yeah, but also they have restrooms in the building that are for handicapped. They do. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, and there's a sign that actually says it, right? Wait, uh, there's handicapped restrooms here? Yeah, it says uh, handicapped restroom located oh, on yeah, the third yeah. floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, this one was a handicap. It's, uh, I barely fit through it. So it's kind of small. And uh, I used the restroom. Another guy used the restroom next to me. Both washed your hands and we're trying to leave. And we heard someone. Co- I heard someone come in. I don't know if you did. So wait. So while you're washing your hands, somebody's coming in. Somebody is coming in. Okay. I can hear them. The wood, uh, chair. Uh, <laughs> you know, kind of making grunting noises. I figured, okay, probably an older man. No big deal, right? Whatever. Mm-hmm. Reminded me of my grandpa. So um, he does his business. I'm washing my hands. And then I want to leave. And he's still doing his business. But he parked the wheelchair. Had the door open, parked the wheelchair. I can't get around there. It's only one way in, one way out. Because the walking space is between literally between the wall and between the like the the doors for the toilet or whatever is like it's big. it's not yeah it's not big at all. It, matter of fact, it's like pe- it's like going walking through a hallway kind of to get out. But two people can't walk like this. Side We'd have side. to go sideways. Yeah, yeah, one at a time. So, anyways, he blocked it. And uh, yeah, he used the restroom with the door open, and I waited so patiently. It's like it's like you're where the sink's at, and from the couch to right here. Is uh, the wheelchair basically, and you're on this side, and you have there's to come. literally not a space. I can't even yeah. put my hand my hand through it. But also, you said he was using the restroom with the door open. Right? Yeah, with the door open, <laughs> and I wasn't gonna go look, so I just I let him finish, and I came out, and my clients were there. Excuse me, sitting on the floor. My clients were there, sitting on the floor, waiting for me so. outside the door. Outside the door, with numbing cream, with numbing cream, ready to go. So I I, I didn't I well, they were early. And everything was already set up, but I was late because that man was blocking the door. I don't know where I was going with that story, but. So anyways. People, that was kind so, of a random story, sorry. <laughs> I feel like we didn't even talk about We, we talk about topic. Yeah, we didn't talk about numbing cream. But um, some people say that, some people think that using numbing cream is cheating. Um, I don't think so. I think it's, each person's pain tolerance is different. Mm-hmm. I've I've had one girl who... Uh, got a tattoo and she's the only one that I've seen use numbing cream. She didn't tell me, but I just knew that she used numbing cream. She told me like during the tattoo, Mm -hmm. but not before we started. Um, and the tattoo probably took about four hours and for three and a half hours, she did not feel a single thing. Literally, I was asking her. Maybe she was tough. Maybe she was tough, but she literally, I would, I was tattooing and she was like, I don't I literally don't feel nothing is what she told me. That's the only case where I've had where numbing cream worked almost 100%. You know what? I don't I said I would never use it because it it can affect your, when your tattoo. 
Like yeah. it can it can reject. the way it heals, right? Yeah, and it can reject ink and stuff. Yeah, for sure. So I just don't want my tattoos to um, heal bad, but I kind of want to use it only so I can know if it actually works or not. Yeah, I think it works to a certain degree. Like I said, when I used it on my knee, it it helped. Um, I think I didn't get the the full pain on what it would have been without it. So I think it helps, but yeah, you would have to try it. What about what about getting put to sleep? Oh wait, do they get do they get put to sleep? Yes, right. Yes. Would I do that? And is it, or are you asking if it's cheating? No. Would you do it? If I was rich, yes, because those start at like what over a hundred k. Probably about a hundred thousand. Now, if it was my very, right, but it's like a full back piece or like a whole. Yeah. Sleep. So if it's my very first tattoo, I probably wouldn't do it because I want the experience. But if I'm already sleeved up from my arms and like, oh, I want to sleep with my leg. And I had the money, absolutely. Put me to sleep. Wake me up when it's done. I, had, I definitely would do that. I had read, because um, uh, I forgot who posted. Somebody posted about, um, is like somebody posted uh, on Instagram saying, is it cheating for people who who uh, get put under to get like their whole back done? And a lot of people were saying yes, and it's dumb. And then there was one comment that said, a lot of people who do this are usually like athletes or like celebrities. Yeah. Which, yeah, because they're the only ones who can afford it. Yeah, money, yeah. You know, NBA players, NFL players. And they said maybe they do it because they're always so busy that they don't have time to keep coming back for sessions to do their whole back. Which is kind of true. I never, I never, heard, I never thought of that. Which is kind of true because, like, during the season, it's hard to get a tattoo. Off-season, they're probably practicing, sweating, swimming. Yeah. So it's... And then they're always away. They're always traveling city to city, so... True. It's always... I mean... It's always busy. I never thought about it like that for athletes or why why they do it. But, I mean, so you, so you wouldn't do it if you had money, though? Oh, would I do it? Like, uh, I'm talking about you You had athlete money. I wouldn't. I don't think I would do it. No. I mean, I think I would. You would? Yeah, I would. But also, I, I don't know if I would want to do it either because, like, once you're done, like, can you imagine how, how painful? I'm sure it's painful, but it's like. But I know you probably have meds or something to. Oh, they, pro- they the probably pain. give you some, yeah, for sure. But the healing process, man, I can't imagine, like, your whole back healing all at once. Yeah, that's it just It sucks taking care of, like, a, 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 a forearm. Yeah, piece. just a regular tattoo in general. I just can't imagine, like, your whole arm, your whole back. Yeah, that's wild. Who would put, who would put ointment on your back? You'd have to get somebody. Oh, they have money. No, no, you. I put it on myself. No, but you can't reach your whole back. I just put it on the wall, and then I rub it. You, you tape a... A bottle of Aquaphor, and then you squeeze it with your back and just let That's it. it. <laughs> Figure it out. Or put it, or or put a um, saran wrap, cut out a big old rectangle of saran. Oh, wrap. put it all on there. Put it all on there. Spread it, and then, just... and then put it on your back. Yeah, that'd be great. It's a good idea. <laughs> I might, I might have to do. That. Literally, would not work. <laughs> you probably will. No, you were being serious though. Yeah, I would. I would do all kinds of stuff. You know, I noticed since what? we started talking about the restroom scene, your mouth has been open this whole time. Has it been? Mm-hmm. Uh, we can end the podcast there, though, because I'm done. <laughs> I was subconscious about it, and I was like, were you? Wait, were you for real? <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was trying. Well, well, I was trying, and then because now wait, I'm overthinking it. Is that a bad thing? Like to have your mouth open the whole time? Yeah. Why? Because I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's, I mean, it's not. Why you have your mouth I, just, open? I just noticed it was just open though. My, my son has his mouth open, and I'm like, "Wait, which son? My my baby." And I'm like, "Dude, close your mouth." And he does it again, and then I do it, and then. So I don't know. I just thought it was funny that your mouth was. Well, I was trying to do a thumbnail, and I was like, "Dude, I all the all the thumbnail pictures have have your mouth open." <laughs> You're gonna talk like this. <laughs> Let me see. Talk. <laughs> Anyways, I think uh I think Nummy Cream is is wax, so don't bring that in here. Have you <laughs> I mean I've you I'll use it on clients. No, I know, I'm too. just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I just let them know this, that you know what could happen. So if something does happen, it's not on me. Yeah. It one thing it does it, it is a little hard to tattoo when you do have the nummy cream on. A little bit. So like you can feel it. it's like somebody put uh lotion. It's like somebody arm. put a layer of like thicker skin. On you can arm. you can just feel it. I don't know. It's hard to explain. So if you don't got to use it, don't use so it. So if you wanna, so if you bring numbing cream, 
We'll let you do the tattoo first, so you can see what it feels like. Like you actually, and tattoo. then once you realize that, then we'll let you go uh, take a bath and then come back, and then scrub it off, and then we can do it. But anyways, that's all, folks. But I will use it. I don't care. I like the challenge. I use it. We just keep talking about the same numbing cream. Use it or lose it. it. That was the hot topic. Was numbing cream? Oh yeah, you're right. Well, I want to know who's used numbing cream. If you use numbing cream, give us a like. If you haven't used it, give us another like, and then we'll kind of decide from there. Decide what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are out of here. All right, guys. Thank you. Peace out. Peace out. Later, you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, you. Please shut up. <laughs> <laughs>